everyone. Welcome back to my channel. It's Jen from Cat and Scrap Designs. I hope everybody's doing well today. I am here today to do um, check number 34 for the hashtag 50 stack challenge. Um, I did check number 33 the other day, which was the whole reinforcers. Um, that was the prompt for check number 33. Um, and this was my um this was my guest check my embellished guest check so today we're here to do um number check number 34 and the prompt for that is um number so amy from crafty cat is the one who hosts the hashtag 50 stack challenge and she pulls every monday two prompts um and those two prompts are the prompts that we use to embellish our guest checks so guest check 33 was um whole reinforcers and guest check number 34 is a number so we only have to use one number we could use multiple numbers um it doesn't really matter um as long as we use the number in it so if you're not familiar with the um 50 stack challenge you could join the challenge at any time you could pick up where we are right now, which is at check 34, and we're gonna go all the way through 50. Or um, you could catch up and start at one and go and catch up to where we're at right now. Um, if you do embellish your guest checks and you wanna um, partake in the challenge, if you go on Instagram or Facebook, or um, I don't know if she does Facebook that much, but she does Instagram, and YouTube, definitely use the hashtag uh, 50 stack challenge so she could find your videos or your um, embellished guest checks and we could see she has a playlist of everybody's stuff and what they've done. And it's just kind of fun to, to watch and see what everybody does and all different, you know, just with the, with the prompts, how everybody does something different. It's really cool to watch and it's a really fun challenge. I've enjoyed it um thus far so without further ado we are going to get started i am going to do my usual um typically i do a uh, pocket with either a journaling card or tags so that's what i'm going to do today again um so i've already got my pieces out to save time and um, this is just ink dyed, uh, hand dyed paper that I had made, which is pink and gold. And I'm going to use that. And I am going to just round the corners here. And I'm going to ink them up. And I'd like to... So this on to my guest check. I like sewing. So, so, so I'm going to sew. <laughs> um, I'm going to sew this on. I just like the stability of the sewing and the texture that it brings. I usually use the zigzag stitch and I just like the way it looks. But you don't have to sew. You could glue which is perfectly fine. And I've glued several of my stuff just to keep from um, time, time purposes. So I'm going to sew this here. I had already put the notch in, so my guest checks were there. But what I wanna do, I'm not sewing this, I'm gonna glue this. And I'm just inking it just to give it a little dimension. And this is just a punch I used. And this is where I am going to, I'm gonna put this here and I'm gonna put a number here. So get my protective, my protect, my protect, my protective gear. 
I think this time I'm going to go with um, ink. I usually use black. I'm going to use red today. And I am going to go with number seven. Just want to make sure it doesn't look like a one when I put it down. So let's see what this looks like. It would probably look better in black, but I wanted to use red ink and just give some color. So this is my number. Just washing my ink off. And I'm going to glue that. Right here in the middle. So um, I'm going to go ahead and take this over to my sewing machine and I will be back in two seconds. Okay, so I'm back and I sewed um, with brown stitching around here in a zigzag stitch. And I like to do that because this perforated um, under the guest check typically comes off. So I like to um, get that in there and it just holds even better. So I have these pieces that I was going to use as tags and I'm going to do that now. There are little tags. And I'm debating on putting more numbers on these. And then we could journal. You could journal on the back of them. Okay, so I'm just going to take my ink and do a little, little inking around here. I could have done the inking in black and I would have had a better contrast, but I didn't, so... Okay, so I don't need that anymore. And 
So I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to put numbers down. Um, I'm going to take my black ink out. to do and I forgot to do I wanted to add just some stamping on the front just to give it a little bit of something. And then with these, I'm going to first punch the hole. I wanna punch the hole in the same spot for all of them. So I'm gonna take them all at the same time. I'm gonna do a ribbon punch. And I got some fabric. That I'm just gonna tie a bow on. Well, not a bow, just. trim this off trim this off. Okay. So now I'm going to take a number. We're going to do a couple of different numbers. We'll do three different numbers. I'm going to put my protective paper just in case. Then number five. Just clean this off. Put this back. So we have one there. I'm gonna take the number three, which is crooked. There we go. I put it in a different spot.
And again, remember, if you're going to do this, you don't need to have um, more than one number. I'm just, I'm just doing the numbers. And I'm choosing the number one to do for the last one. Okay, so now we have the number one, the number three, and the number five. And we could use these all as journaling cards. And this is check number 34. Yep, 34. So hopefully you guys were inspired to grab a guest check and start embellishing. Um, it's, it, could be as simple as what I just did, which was very simple. Um, you don't have to go crazy. Uh, use what you have at home. And um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And until my next video, guys, um, you have an awesome day. Talk to you soon. Bye.